hello everyone this is vijay kumar and in this tutorial i'm going to talk about how to exploit a post gres database application using metasploit uh, in this video i'm going to hack my college database that is my college web server using metasploit and i'll gain some access into the system so just follow my tutorial firstly i'm going to start with a couple of slides and i'm going to show you some hackers jargons so here we go so what are ports ports are basically some gateway to services running on some systems to the network host all right so these ports are generally uh, assigned to every service a different port for the every different service so like for post grs there is a port number 5432 a default port for that and uh, for applications such as smtp and uh, um http the for smtp it is 25 and for http it is 80 or 8080 uh, what is port scanning port scanning is generally a technique used by attackers to get the list of open ports uh, a payload is uh, generally it is executed it's a piece of code that is executed after a successful exploitation exploitation is uh, something where you uh, take advantage of a vulnerability in the victim's machine and you just uh, exploit it using a code that is an exploit code all right so what is a shell code shell code is a piece of code that is written in assembly language generally that gives the shell of the victim's machine or shell or you can call it a terminal of a victim's machine to the attacker metapreter is a, a module in a, or advanced payload in a metasploit metasploit framework is a tool that we use to hack Uh, i'm going to demonstrate it after a couple of slides uh, metapreter is a payload advanced payload where you can change multiple you can load multiple payloads into it you don't have to uh, change the payloads now and then now these are five phases of hacking where information gathering scanning exploitation maintaining access and clearing logs information gathering is a phase where an attacker co collects information about the victim or the target Uh, there are two types of information gathering there is one uh, called active and another is passive an active information gathering is where the information uh, regarding the security measures of the victim are collected and the passive is where the social engineering and dumpster driving are uh, performed to obtain information uh, in scanning scanning is uh, just like we use some sort of tools in, in this tutorial i'm going to scan it using nmap to find the vulnerabilities in post grs database application exploitation is uh, generally exploit as i spoke uh, a couple of slide back uh, exploit is a piece of code that uh, is used to take advantage of a, a vulnerability in a application so exploitation is using that exploit code and uh, taking advantage of that and uh, gaining access into the victims or the targets machine this is where the real hacking or cracking begins maintaining access is the phase where a hacker uh, once he exploits the system and gains access into it uh, for future access he just plants a backdoor or a trojan uh, clearing logs this is a very important phase because once a attacker Uh, hacks into the uh, system there are some tracks that remain in the system uh, like the the ip address of the system that is it, it was connected to so clearing logs is a very important uh, this thing uh, important phase to avoid getting behind bars scanning scanning there are various tools for that uh, for this uh, in this we use nmap for scanning the network and uh, the information obtained are like the open ports the applications running on the ports there are demons demons in the, demons in the sense uh, the services running at the open port uh, next we go to exploitation exploits as i spoke before there are some sort of codes that uh, take advantage of the vulnerability in the system there are bunch of exploits for the bunch of uh, vulnerabilities so there is a different exploit for every different vulnerability and there are many many exploits in exploitdb.com uh, in a tool such as uh, metasploit framework it makes us very much easier for us to hack it is a collection of payloads it's a collection of exploits modules various tools scanners etc we are going to use metasploit framework for this demonstration here is the nmap 
screenshot for when I scan my college database here it is uh, you can see it's post GRS database 8.1.112 8.1.17 version uh, that is vulnerable because the currently version which uh, we are like latest version uh, the time of making this video is uh, 9.1 something uh, something something so there is some exploit for this post GRS SQL uh, I've mentioned here uh, the exploit we are going to use for this is exploit slash linux slash post grs slash post grs underscore payload and the interpreter as a payload so that is we are going to set up payload linux slash x86 interpreter blind underscore tcp payload all right let's uh, we are going to launch metas um, metasploit using msf console and uh, yes we are going to start the exploitation phase hello guys I've just started my Ubuntu machine. Uh, I've started my exploit framework. This is the exploit. I'm copying it. Yeah, I'm going to use the exploit. Paste it. I'm going to set the payload. Just copy that. Paste it. I have some problem with the screen recorder in. Ubuntu. Uh, now I'm going to set the R host. That is 172.20.0.1. Now I'm going to check the options. Uh, all the required stuff are given, uh, are provided with. Now I'm going to exploit it. You can just see the metropolitan session has started. So we have the complete access of the web server now. These are the commands, various modules, where various modules have already been loaded, such as the std API. Now I'm going to check the system info. Here it is uh, Linux. Mm, there is some problem with the get system command. I guess it doesn't work with Linux. Uh, get priv, uh, but it shows operation failed. I guess that doesn't work. Uh, I'll just skip this. I'm going to check my present working directory that is var library pg sql and data this are, these are the files and folders present in this directory now I'm going to go back I want to go into var folder I'm going to check the list of folders and files present in this directory. Let's get into www. Uh, now let's check the files in this. So I'm interested in the HTML folder. Let's get into that. Here is the OIS, that is the online information system of my college. Now, I'm interested in downloading the dbconnect.php. Uh, I guess I'm going to get the database applications, uh, username and the password. Now I'm going to download the OIS, the entire OIS online information system of my college. So here we go. Uh, we have downloaded a PHP, mail.php and then a uh, file. Oh my god. This is working very well, isn't it? Oh we have a list of files, a bunch of files. 
looks great. Hey, Meta Beta session has closed. I I don't know what's the problem, but let's close it over here. Uh, it was pretty cool, isn't it? Let's get back to MSF. Uh, yes, we are here. That's it for now. Keep watching for more tutorials. Thank you.